Welcome to our quick tutorial for the Transana demonstration version. We're going to run through things a little quickly here, so feel free to pause this video as much as you need to. If you want more detail on any subject we mention here, check out Transana screencasts in the Learn Transana section of the website. Those videos go into a lot more detail. When you first start Transana on a new computer, the program asks you to select a language for the Transana interface. I'm going to pick English. The language of the interface does not have to match the language of your data. Next, we pick a database. If this were the full version of Transana, we could enter any database name here we want and create different databases for different research projects. Since this is the demonstration version, our only option is to select a database called Demonstration. Next, Transana notices if this is the first time the program has been run on this computer and asks if we want to automatically open the text-based tutorial for Transana. For the moment, I'm going to say no to the tutorial, but this resource is always available to you in the Help menu. Now we see Transana's main screen, but before we start working, we should tell Transana where to look for our data files. If you're on Windows, go to Options, Program Settings. If you're on Mac OS, you can go to Transana, Preferences. Once you're here, you set the Media Library Directory to the location where you keep your data files. I'll pick my Videos slash Transana folder. Now I'm going to draw your attention to the data window in the lower right corner of the program. That's where we'll start. We need to bring some data into Transana. We're going to start by bringing in a video file, but the process is identical with audio files and very similar for text files. In Transana, we start by putting our original text and media data into a library. Your original files remain unchanged no matter what you do in Transana, and a library is just a place where we store a copy of those raw data files for analysis. You can have as many libraries in Transana as you need, which is useful if you have a lot of data. To create a library, we right-click the library's element in what's called the database tree. We get a pop-up menu, and one of the options in that menu is Add Library, so we'll pick that. I will name my library Practice Files. We can ignore the rest of the fields here for the moment, and we'll press OK to create the library. Now let's bring in a video file. We're going to right-click our Practice Files library. You can see that there are options for Add Document if you want to bring in text data, and Import Spreadsheet Data if you want to bring in data from a survey. The term Document in Transana refers to data in text form, while Episode refers to media data. We want Add Episode for our video file. Now we'll press the Add File button and select the media file. I'll pick the Example Data directory and the file Bill Swan. Notice that Transana uses the name of our video file as the name for our episode, but we can change that if we want to. Again, we can ignore the rest of the form for the moment and press OK. If we were bringing in text data, we would be done now, ready to start analyzing the text file. But with video and audio files, there are a couple of extra useful steps. As you can see, Transana is already asking us to add a transcript. We have two choices here. If we already have a transcript for this file, we can use the Browse button here to import that transcript. Alternately, we can just type in a transcript name and let Transana create a blank transcript for us. We'll give the transcript the name Bill Swan Transcript and press OK to create a blank transcript. If this is the first time you've used this video, Transana will ask if you want to create a WAV file. Say yes. Transana creates the waveform and loads the video and transcript as requested. If your video will not load, don't worry. The full version of Transana contains a media conversion tool that will encode most video files into a format that works with Transana. To practice using the demo, download our sample data files that are available on the demo download page. Next, you can watch the demonstration video for creating and time coding transcripts. But transcripts are optional, and you can watch our screencast video on doing analysis without a transcript. Then, make sure to watch the demo video on analyzing data in Transana. 